A new all-out civil war is threatened in Lebanon. Iraq has moved an additional 30,000 troops into Kuwait. American forces swarmed into Baghdad. They call it the Arab Spring. The death toll mounting in Turkey's military assault on America's Kurdish allies inside Syria. What always strikes me about these big situations that you're in is the profound impact they have on so many ordinary people. And that creates a sort of compulsion to make sure that those stories get told. For more than 30 years, Liz Sly has been reporting on conflict from the Lebanese civil war to the ongoing turmoil in Syria. Liz Sly is one of the best reporters I have ever met. Watching her report from around the world is really inspirational to young female journalists. Her knowledge of the Middle East, I would say, is second to none in the region at this moment. Informing the world with her words, Sly has made an effort to humanize the conflict she covers, including a suicide bombing south of Baghdad at a children's soccer game. Parents serve glasses of tea, show off photos of their dead children, and cry. Bilal, the brother of Anmar, was a star student who graduated at the top of his class in sixth grade and also was an ace soccer player. The father of Walid remembered his son in a different way. He was not so good at school, said Adol Abid. He failed many of his exams because he was always playing soccer. People told me the details made them realize that those children were exactly like their own children. Sly has covered some of the biggest humanitarian crises of our time, from the famine in Somalia to the Rwandan genocide. The only thing we can advocate for is for the people who don't have a voice without us. If we show up and speak to them and find out what they're experiencing, we can give voice to those voiceless people. Nearly 130 journalists have been killed in the Syrian war since the 2011 uprising. Sly has been there since the beginning. And despite the risk, she continues focusing on the humanity and suffering from inside. What really drives me is the big human story of our times. I want to know how this all plays out. It's like we're living in some big movie about the world. We don't know how it's going to end up. I want to keep telling those stories as they unfold.